Romania may have joined the EU six years ago, but its economy is still moving at a different speed to the rest of Europe. Water polo star Andre Josip wants to accelerate his prospects by moving to Britain to help coach Team GB. He hopes to change attitudes. I was in a club in Italy a few years ago and tried to chat with a girl. She asked me where I was from and when I told her Romania, she just turned her back on me and left. I was shocked and felt very bad. I've had some unfortunate experiences around Europe. The fact that we were treated differently compared to others just upset me. Jobs abroad are posted in government-run employment agencies like this one in Bucharest. In 2002, Romanians were allowed to find work in Schengen Agreement countries. The wave of young, mostly male migrants moving to Italy and Spain for work far exceeded expectations. Emigration has picked up still further since economic growth was flung into reverse by the global financial crisis. The problem here in Romania isn't unemployment. In fact, the jobless rate is lower than it is in the United Kingdom. It's really all about salaries. The average monthly wage is about a quarter that in the United Kingdom. These police protesting about pay and conditions know their salaries are rising at a glacial pace compared with their neighbours. On average, they take home £250 a month. While the cost of living is much lower here than others in the EU club, the temptation to move abroad and send money back is compelling, which worries Romania's Minister of Labour. Unfortunately, young qualified Romanians are the ones who move to these countries because they want to get better paid jobs, not because they want to take advantage of their benefits. We have many people who study in universities across Europe and they usually find better paid jobs there. We hope the Romanian economy improves so we can offer higher salaries for those who want to come back. But will an influx of unskilled workers act as a drag on resources in their new home? Romanians have been quick to take advantage of relaxed restrictions. They represent 8% of the emigration wave around the EU, second only to Poland. Germany with its strong economy is another popular destination, but construction worker Daniel Rusu plans to make the trip to Britain. He says those immigrants looking to scam the UK benefit system are a small minority. Unfortunately, some of the stories are true, and I'm talking about those who go to Britain to beg, steal or have no plans to get hired. Their numbers are tiny, but they have a huge influence on opinion. British people link them to the majority of Romanian immigrants who really want to work legally and make a future there. The UK's universal benefit system is undoubtedly an attraction to Romanians, but the UK says it will continue to set a higher hurdle for recent immigrants trying to make claims. That's now the subject of a legal fight between London and Brussels. The number of Romanians who travel to Britain will feed into a much wider political debate, that of Britain's relationship with the EU. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Bucharest.